Hello, everybody. My name is Mary. First of all, sorry in advance for my English. It's my second language, so I'm sorry for my future mistakes. I'd like to show you a lesson which may help you to become more familiar working with OctanRender integration into Blender. In this lesson, I will explain you how to change the settings of materials and lighting. So let's begin our lesson. Uh, this image is what we will get in the end of our tutorial. As you can see here, we have some interesting, which I've made a few months ago. I used to work in Blender using the export script, and now I need to change all my materials and lighting to be able to work in Octa Render for Blender. Let's begin from our lighting. Here we have the sun. It's the Blender sun. As you probably know, Octane Render uses its own sun, so we don't need this one. Let's delete it. Here you can find Octane Environment, uh, two different types, text and daylight two different types of daylight system, so daylight system itself and direction. Using the direction, you can change sun direction vector. And here you can find two different types of models, old one and new one. I prefer to work with new one because it gives my picture more realistic view. Okay, another very important part of our lighting is this tiny panel. As you can see, I put it very close to my window. This panel will have some special material called Octane Portal material. Uh, this type of material allows uh, sunlight to find our window and uh, decrease level of noise. Let's start from this panel. Uh, working in Octane Render for Blender, you need to activate node system. You can do it pushing this button or ticking this box. And now you can change type of surface. Octane portal material. Okay. So we have our first material in this tutorial. Let's continue working with our scene. Our first game is to see uh, our object inside our room. So we need to uh, change material of our cotton lace. This one. Again, use notes. Now I'm going to use very simple material. It will be simple diffuse material. But we need uh, to create some special material that will allow sorry that will allow our sun to come through it. First of all, let's change uh, the color. I don't like to work with uh, values like one 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 or zero 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 because it might uh, increase level of noise. So in this case. I prefer to work uh, with values like, for example, 0.99 instead of 1. As you can see, it's the same white color, but uh, level of noise will be less. Okay, and now let's add two different maps to our future material. Here you can see two different types of uh, octane image texture, octane image texture itself or octane float image texture. Uh, in a few seconds I will explain you the difference between them, but now we need to choose this one, put it here, curtain lace, connected to transmission. and opacity slot and let's add some bump to our texture in this case I will use octane float image texture the main difference between these two texture is that octane image texture works with uh, black and white images so it will uh, save some memory of your GPU okay connected to this slot and change power okay now we can check what do we have in this moment here you can find several contrasts and one of them is type of shading rendered now we need to wait several seconds because as you can see my scene is really heavy and 
we need to wait a few seconds to see our scene. Just a moment, please. Yes. As you can see, we already have sky and we have uh, almost nice curtain lace. Let's change scales value a little bit. Here you can find scales. In this moment, you need to change them manually in every open texture. Uh, in future build, in one of the future build, you will be able to connect to these pins some uh, float value. Uh, you will be able to change it once for every open texture. But now we need to do it manually in every open texture. As you can see, the picture changed immediately and it's very, very convenient. Okay, it's much better. Now let's change settings of our camera. Here you can find a lot of settings for our camera. Now I'm going to use just a few of them. So let's open this one, close this one. And uh, I will not use post-processor in this tutorial, so I will close this part of settings too. Here you can find the same settings uh, as uh, on your um, standalone version of Octane Render. Changing them, you will increase or decrease level of lighting in your scene. Now I need to add some uh, light, make my scene more lighter. So I'm going to change them a little bit. And this one. Uh, okay. Let's continue working with our window. I'm going to make material, to create material for my curtain. In this case, I will use very interesting shader, Octane Mixed Material. I really like this shader because it, give me, it gives me opportunity to create uh, difficult materials mixing two different types of materials. For example, you can mix a diffuse material with a specular material or a specular material with a glossy material or glossy material with a diffuse material. In this case, I'm going to mix two diffuse materials with different colors and I will mix them using very interesting map. Fell off. Let's put it here. Okay. If you want to create a material uh, looks like velvet or for example some car paint, you need to use this type of texture, octane fall of texture. So let's change our colors. This one would be our color, sorry, this one would be dark green. Maybe a little bit darker. This one light green. Yeah. Here you can see that it's already looks really like velvet. Let's take a look on this part of our settings. Here you can see several boxes for your GPU. I have four GPUs, so I ticked three boxes and I left first one to be able to work quickly. Okay, here you can find different types of kernel. For my preview, I uh, use direct light. And um, I know that a lot of people mm, use direct light for their final render, but honestly, mm, I think it's not the best option because, for example, if you have a lot of glossy or reflection objects or glass objects, um, direct light might not be the best option. Here you can find samples. Max samples is for render image and preview samples is for our preview mode. Let's change it a little bit. Okay, our next material will be material for a limit. It's very simple material, just diffuse material. Again, use nodes, change type of surface from diffuse BSDF to octane diffuse material and change color to almost white. Again, 0 0.99, 0 0.99, 0 0.99, 0 0.99, 0 0.99, 0 0.99, 0 0.99, 0 0.99, 0 0.99, 0 0.99, 0 0.99, 0 0.99, 0 0.99
point, my dad. Okay. We don't need this setting, so untick this box. Box. And now we have very nice, beautiful white limit. Let's continue working with our walls. Um, having green curtain, I think that uh, green might be the main color of our room. So let's create green walls with interesting texture. Again, I'm going to use mixed material. In this case, I will mix octane diffuse material with octane glossy material. Okay. Yes. In this case, I'm going to uh, add some texture. Octan image texture. Wall. Okay, let's connect it. to our both materials here and here okay let's change values of rudeness and specular in our glossy material for example something like this and this okay and let's add some mask to our mount slot. Float image texture. Let's put it here, for example. Wait for a few seconds. OK. And connect it to our mount slot. Nice. And let's add a little bit of bump. As I said before, my sun is really favorite. This is why I need to wait a few seconds. Okay. Okay. And change power of our bump. Something like this, for example. Okay, we don't need this. And this. Cool. As you probably noticed, I use the same image for octan image texture and for octan float image texture. It's another uh, advantage of this type of texture. You don't need to create some special map. You can use the same colored map, but this texture will do from your, uh, sorry, this texture uh, creates from your colored image black and white image. If you need some special uh, image, uh, for example, if you need to add uh, some some bump or some specular to your image, you can create another image using different types of programs, for example, like GIMP, but it's not very necessary. Okay, as you can see, we already have very nice very interesting walls. Okay, uh, let's start working with our floor. In this case, I'm going to create very simple material. It will be just glossy material with some maps. Octane image texture. And And I will add octane float image texture for bump. Okay. Now we need to connect both textures to our material. Change level of bump change these two parameters
okay as i can see values of scale is good so we ne don't need to change them okay here you can see several uh, rectangles it's mirrors let's create material for them again use nodes and we need glossy material we don't need this parameter let's change this a little bit and all that we need change color if you want to have a uh, clear glass you need to put values like 0 0.99 0 0.99 0 0.99 but i want to have something a little bit darker so yes as you can see we already have our new image and you can see another wall with mirrors too okay let's continue working with our scene uh let's do material for our cover okay in this case uh i want to create again something like that but so as you remember we need octane mix material to diffuse materials and fall of octane fall of texture okay let's change color something like this and this brown again but lighter mm, I think it's a little bit dark and this might be lighter yeah and let's change this parameter a little bit yeah it's nice okay let's continue working with our bed uh let's make material for our basement it will be very very easy material very simple material octane diffuse material with some image texture okay something something with stripes yep wait for a few seconds okay and connect it to our diffuse slot okay next material just a moment please okay ah, as you can see we have our very nice striped basement uh, next material will be material for our pillows and this part of our bed uh, has the same material let's put our preview picture on post to be able to work as fast as possible because in this case i'm going to use very interesting material it will be a um, mixed material of two mixed materials so let's start working mix material material number one again mix material number two again mix so here uh, let it be two diffuse materials and here two glossy materials I think it would be nice it might be not the easy easiest way but you will see that we will have a really interesting combination of different types of materials okay uh, next step let's add some map to our main amount slot It will be float image texture. We will use it as a mask. 
connected here okay and now we need to change colors of our diffuse materials so first of them be, um, something like mm -hmm. Yep. Second one. Yes. I'm going to mix them using file of map. Okay. And now our glossy materials. Okay glossy materials let's add some texture octan image texture um, this picture okay connected to our both both glossy materials Okay, we will mix our glossy materials using again fall of texture. Nice. And in this case, I'm going. Ah, let's do a little bit different. It would be much more interesting. Let's copy this map using Ctrl C. Okay, connected to second glossy material diffuse load. And let's let's change value of our gamma. Uh, changing this value, you will have the same colored image, but with uh, different brightness. Let's do it. Gamma 3 and here, for example, point one. Okay, now we need to change Maybe this parameter a little bit. Okay. And here, in our main amount slot, we need to add some mask to combine uh, first material and second material. Okay, this one. Okay, let's see what do we have. Wait for a few seconds. yeah as you can see we have nice material with interesting pattern i think it's good and this is structure of our material really nice okay let's continue our working but please don't forget to save your work during all this tutorial okay now mm, Let's create material for this part of our furniture, metal part. In this case, I'm going to use this part of my settings. As you can see here, I have material live DB. You can take materials from um, live DB, use them, uh, change them as you wish. And what is mo uh, most important part, you can learn using them, you can learn how to create really interesting and difficult materials. So let's take a look at this part of our settings. Here you can find different organic materials, non-organic materials, other types of materials, texture, emissions. Okay, 
you can for example if you want to use some type of material you can um, choose anything you want push this button and here in your note editor you will see in a few seconds your new material or you can use this uh, window for example if you type here some keyword here you will see all materials that contains your keyword okay uh, I need in this case I need to use some metal material so let's see what do we have here as you can see there are a lot of interesting materials but I'm going to find something really interesting and suitable for our room mm -hmm. I think this one now I'm going to push this button and you please take a look on this part of my monitor you will see the info line of downloading of this texture okay as you can see here yes and now you can see this really difficult and interesting material so let's take a look on this material closer let's make this window bigger okay so as you can see this material consists of octane mix material mixing this octane multiply texture octane diff glossy material and the second one here again glossy material you can study uh, you can learn how to create materials like this using your note editor or opening this material here in your settings okay let's continue working with our sin I just want to have the same windows as I used to have yes it's much better okay now let's create material for this part of our table it's just simple glass so again we need to use node system change surface type from glass bsdf to octane specular material we don't need this this we can change and color in this case you can use a uh, poor white color and here you can see that we already have very nice glass let's create material for uh, our uh, soft part of our furniture this part and this part they have the same material again use notes um, let's create mix of diffuse material and glossy material okay We need some texture. Mm -hmm. This one. Okay. Connect this map to our both materials. Change values of uh, rudeness and specular something I don't know like this 
and we need to add mask to mix two materials okay okay float image open it this one wait for a few seconds okay and connect it okay let's take a look what do we have in this moment I think we should change a little bit value of scales mm. it's much interesting okay don't forget to change your values in every open texture We can add some bump to our material again. Octane float image texture. The same image. Connected to both slots of bump. I decided to uh, add another float image texture because I want to be able to uh, change value of power on this map regardless to this map. So a little bit. Yes, I think it's really good. Uh, now I'm going to walk um, with my cushions. First of all, let's create materials for these and these cushions, they uh, have the same material. So let's create it. Okay, again, use nodes. This uh, will be very simple material, just octane diffuse material with some image texture, put it here. Mm -hmm. Simple cushion. Okay, connected. I think that now we will have nice material and we will we don't yeah, we don't need to change anything here. Okay. Next one, these two cushions. They uh have similar material too, so let's do it. But in this case, I'm going to use very interesting, a uh, little bit difficult material. So I want to walk quickly. So I put my picture on pause. Okay. In this case, I'm going to use very nice material. Just a moment, let's, okay, again. It will be mixed material, of course. I really like this type of shader. Mm -hmm. Here we will add um, two glossy materials. Glossy materials. Oh. Oh no, I think we can do much interesting here. Mm, let's put, let's put here again, mix material with two glossy materials. Mm-hmm. this one second material will be mix of two uh, diffuse materials okay diffuse material okay
okay next step um, let's change colors of our glossy materials i'm going to mix them using a file of texture let's put it here connect and let's change their color uh the first one will be green yes second one green too but a little lighter i think this one might be a little darker yes oh this mm -hmm. now let's start working with our diffuse materials let's change their colors this one would be dark green as you probably noticed i really like green color yes this one light green mm -hmm. let's mix them again using fall of texture nice okay let's take a look what do we have here okay okay let's add some texture to our mount slot load in this texture let's put it here add some bump again float in this texture we need to change uh, power of our future bump for example like this connect it to our to all materials so this one and this one and this one mm -hmm. and the last thing that we need to do change parameters of rudeness and specular in our glossy materials uh, let's do this one. Yes, and the lighter one, I think it's. Uh huh. Okay. This one. Okay. Really nice. So let's take a look. What do we have? Here you can see the info line. Okay. We need to wait for wait for several seconds. And here you can find the answer why. Because my sin is really heavy. Okay. I think we have really nice texture, but we need to change our colors a little bit. Mm -hmm. let's make this one lighter yeah it's much better okay green almost white and two diffuse materials this one is too dark Uh huh. It's much interesting. Right. 
nice. If you want, you can invert your mask using this box. Take a look on our cushions. As you can see, our uh, colors just changed their places. But I prefer this one. Okay, uh, let's finish with our cushions and create material for this part of our cushions. Again, use notes. I'm going to create materials uh, like this one, like velvet. So we need to choose octane mix material, two diffuse materials, change their colors, again their colors, sorry, dark green, light green, and add fall of map to our mount slot okay really nice really nice okay next one will be this cushion okay in this case uh, I'm going to use not very difficult material again it will be a mix of two diffuse materials with fall of map okay let's change this a little bit and I'm going to use float image and before I'm going to use the same um, colored image but with different gamma value here will be uh, gamma 2.2 and here will be 0.8 for example okay really nice and again green yeah let's create material for this part yeah yes this part of our cushion uh, as I said before, I created this same a few months ago, so um, I already have different colors that I know might be good with uh, this interior, so I'm going to use this color again. Uh, I can copy and paste them using hotkeys Ctrl C and Ctrl V. As you probably noticed, I'm trying to use as many hotkeys as I can, for example, mm, uh, here to add some map I use a uh, hotkey shift A use notes for example shift A and you can choose every type of uh, texture or shader you need I think that using hotkeys um, makes work much more faster yes and the last part of this cushion is this small piping again I'm going to use the same color as I already have ctrl C use nodes change type of surface from diffuse BSDF to octane diffuse material and here or here ctrl V okay we already have our color. Okay. Let's change this a little bit. No, it's okay. 
you can make this a little bit darker just a little bit yes and our next material will be material of this lamp I'm going to make these two lamps on and this lamp off um, to show you uh, all advantages of one special type of medium I'm going to turn this lamp firstly so it will be very simple material we need to activate node system choose octane diffuse material and here in emission settings choose octane texture image okay let's make it a little bit bigger uh, I don't want to use uh, this parameter of efficiency I want to use color so shift A and let's change let's choose octane RGB spectrum texture connect it to efficiency slot change color to poor white in this case you can use it and now we need to change power of our emission material let's do something like this okay you can see here some light now let's start working with this part of our lamp we need to create some diffuse material with some special adventure uh, it will show our light of our lamp use nodes uh, mix material connect to diffuse materials material number two okay add fellow And now let's change colors of our both diffuse materials. This one will be almost white, a little bit yellow. Mm -hmm. uh, this should be a little bit more. Yep. This material will have the same color. And let's change value parameter of transmission I want to add some color so after RGB spectrum texture connect change color from gray to mm, yellow something like this and in second diffuse material let's do another RGB spectrum texture a little bit green no not a little bit this one yep nice texture the transmission slot okay and now we need to add some special medium shift a octane medium we need this type of medium Octane scatter medium. Okay, put it here and connect it to our both materials to medium slot. Let's change these parameters. And the last one okay as you can see our f fabric of our lamp uh, looks really interesting and here you can see that it's not just a simple diffuse material it's much more interesting this uh, object and these two objects have the same material so it's very interesting to see the difference between them this lamp is off this two is on our own 
Okay. You can read about this type of medium in uh, Octane Manual. Now I think we should change power a little bit. Yes. Okay. Our next material is here. As you can see here, as I said before, this part of our uh, lamp uh, has the same material as these two small lamps, but this lamp uh, has two uh, different decorative elements, just uh, simple brown diffuse material, so we can use options of copy-paste. Yep. This is just mm, white diffuse material again. Oh, sorry, white speckle material, of course. Okay. With some rudeness. Okay. This part is black plastic, so let's create it. It's oh, sorry. This part is metal, of course. Sorry, my mistake. Okay. And the last part of our scene is these magazines. Let's add some materials to them. Okay. Let's put it on pause. Here we have um, main material, it's material of paper. Yes, it's just white material, white diffuse. Again, it will be almost white diffuse. Color. Okay. We don't need this one. And let's hide it to be able to work with other parts of these objects. Okay, here we have different tops of our magazine. Let's add some material to them. It would be glossy material with some images, octane image texture. Okay, wait for a few seconds, connect it to this slot, and change our roughness and speckle, for example, I don't know. Okay, this one, again, glossy, add some image texture. Connected to our diffuse slot, change roughness. Okay, so we add here material, we have here material. Okay, again, The last one. Uh huh. Already have. Okay. And let's take a look. What do we have now? Okay. A few seconds more.
I think that we have a really nice scene. We spent less than one hour and we change, uh, we've changed all our materials and lighting. And now we can, we can see that we already have very nice picture. Okay. Let's take a look what we will have. Okay. Let's change our settings a little bit. As I said before, I prefer to use uh, another type of channel for my final render. I like this type PMC. If you change uh, type of kennel, you need to check settings of your camera again. As you can see, now our scene again is a little bit dark. Let's improve this. Okay. Okay, good. Let's change previous samples to the maximum amount. Okay. Here you can see your uh, uh, info line. Okay. Wait. Again, we need to wait some time. Okay, that's what we've got in the end. However, in the real workflow, you will not use this preview render mode for your final render since you can't save an image using this mode. So we need to use another mode. This one, render mode. You can activate it pushing this button or using the shortcut F12. Now let's change our settings a little bit because I just want to show you an example. Okay, sorry. Yep. And something like this. Okay. Uh, if you need to find some info kernel layers, you need to activate this part of our settings. And here. You can choose all necessary layers. Good. Push F12. Here you can find the info line. And when your image is done, you can save it using this command. OK. Let's wait for a few seconds. Yes. Now here you can find all info kernels that we've ticked before, for example, this one, index of materials, or oh, this one, yeah, it's our picture. As you can see, it's a very simple interior scene with very simple settings. The main goal of our lesson was to show you the basic workflow in OctaRender for Blender. I hope you'll find it useful. Thank you for watching.